Hello everybody, today we make an oyster rockefella. The oyster I open up all day so already it's fresh and what do you need? I got over here shallot, garlic, spinach, breadcrumb, perno, butter and I got a pecorino cheese. Okay now first thing I want to chop the shallot really thin and I want to chop the garlic the same like the shallot. Okay, now we gotta chop the spinach. The only thing, you know, I chop the spinach, but you know, gotta be really small. Okay, now we gotta start with the stuff to, for the oyster. And now I got over here the butter, the pots that sound already the gas, and I got a little oil. The one time of the butter, it's melted down. We start to do the garlic and the shallot. Now I got over here the shallot and yeah, I got a garlic. Already the smell is so good. Okay. The garlic and the shallot, everything, the oil and the butter, it smells so good. Now I cook the garlic and the onion to make a little color. That's it. Now it's time to saute the spinach. We load the flame a little bit. I don't want to burn my spinach. And after that, we got to put the perno. Now, I got the perno over here. It's a half cup. Now this we got to leave a cook. They evaporate all the, the perno got pour. It cooks so beautifully, you got to give a good taste. Okay, now I got to put a little salt and black pepper. Okay, now it's the time to put the breadcrumb. Got the spinach, it's a little more wet. And like this, the breadcrumb, it make a little thick, the sauce, what I gotta make the stuff. Uh, we start like this. I was to put one cup over here, but maybe I don't need the whole thing. And we turn, and we see. You see, still it's a little bit more wet. We put a little bit more. Yeah, I think maybe not. It's enough for the breadcrumb. I wish everybody can smell this. Okay, it's so good already. You can eat this already like a spoon like this. Okay, now the stuff that's done, and we put right on this dish. Now, first off, you gotta use one spoon, and you take like this, and you take the ostrich, and you stuff it, and you make a nice shape like that. And you put right over here. This part, I put salt. I put the salt like this, no move. It stay where you put, it stay. Okay, this, it got a little more water, okay, give a good taste. Look, I not throw away the water. The water will never stay inside, Okay, the water, it's a nice taste with the water. Now, I want to finish all this ostrich, okay, I do all the same. And we got to put a little bread crumb and the cheese on the top. After I finish, you got to go in the oven. Okay, now we put a little bread crumb on the top, like snow outside, little flake the bread crumb. Okay, now we gotta put a little cheese on the top. And we do like this, the same thing. Okay, look at that, look. You never go wrong with the cheese. This, this cheese, it's enough of over there, look. Hmm. Where's my drink? drink? No wine, not a cook, not a, nobody give it to me nothing. But where do I got it to this? I double them up. Okay, now this can go in the oven, 400 degrees for 10 minutes.
Ok. Ok. It done. Let me take it out. And we put right over there on the table. Oh, look how beautiful my ostrich. Now I want to taste my ostrich rack fowl. And let me taste this. Oh. Look, 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 look how beautiful. Look at that. Watch. Hot, huh? Oh. It is so good. Boy. Salute, chin chin. Mmm. A really, really good. Look at this. You see? Make sure to leave the, the water underneath. Okay, look. It come nice. Mm. This stuff, it's really good. I want to say to everybody, salute, chin chin. I want to make sure that everybody be happy. Everything what I do with my recipe and the cook what I do. Thank you very much. Salud e chin chin. Thank you. <laughs> now you know what I gotta do? I know I waited for the ostrich. I wanna have a nice and drink now. Nice and chin chin and salute. I want to do it right now. Wait when I eat this later. Tinky dong, tinky dong, nice salute, chin chin, everybody.